Hey guys, uh, TVA Steptoff from TVAClan.com. Um, so Theory and I went to the Penny Arcade that they do every year just about in Seattle. Um, and they do it nationwide. They're all over the place. But uh, this one was August 2011. Um, so I brought my camera along just to show a couple cool clips of things. Um, so basically, yeah, here to start. This was a, a life-size model of uh, Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War. Um, literally, it was just the guns, seeing how big they are, seeing their boots. Like, I know when I played the game, I thought the boots were huge. So um, it was pretty cool to see that. Um, also, you know, just walking around, seeing all the cool companies and cool games and stuff like that, um, were really eye-catching. You know, all the different people that were there, ages and genders and stuff like that. Um, it was just nice to see people dress up and you know, kind of see that as things go on here. There were some girls there, you know. I, uh, as I was walking away, I said, hold on, let's go back get a second look for uh, the viewers of this video. <laughs> and actually the actual, <laughs> the original clip was longer than that. But um, anyways, yeah, so they had Battlefield 3 um, and they let you play it. They let you play the multiplayer version of it. Uh, and I played it. And then when I whipped out my camera, they were kind of just like, no, turn it off, turn it off. And uh, as I was leaving again, I tried to film it, and they said the same thing. So, uh, you know, whatever. They have to protect what they have to do. But you kind of see them here. The guy's like, no. Once they notice me. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I was a big Counter-Strike fan. Um, and it was nice to see that they're bringing Counter-Strike back. Um, it's pretty much the same game, they just redid everything, um, updated the graphics, updated some of the textures, made, it, made the maps look more like actual battlefield, unlike uh, just a room, nothing's in there, just empty rooms. This one actually has like pots and different things like Counter-Strike, or like Call of Duty would have. So just updating that. Um, so also I was walking around and I was noticing that uh, there was a lot of people that were into like what is it? PC gaming. So you'll see here that they were advertising a lot of different video cards and, uh, and you'll see some overclocking stuff and different laptops, gaming laptops. Um, you just always forget how big and popular you know, PC gaming is, was, and, and can still be. You know, even though consoles, in my opinion, are, are taking over. Um, so here I'm following theory. So anyways, Modern Warfare 3, you know, they were advertising this quite a bit, um, which is expected. Um, in Modern Warfare 3, I mean, the line alone to play it was, was huge. A little tournament going on. Um, the there was like a line of business. Two that win, I want you to ridicule them for the rest of the weekend, because that's what friends do. And we're starting off here. We've got Team A versus Robert and Randy. Team A takes an early lead with one kill. You know, I thought this guy was pretty interesting. There was actually a lot of people giving him money for just being, a, you know, brother of fallen soldiers and stuff like that. I thought it was a great idea. Um, and his uniform was really detailed also. <laughs> and this one here, they were talking about the, the new game engines that are being created that are actually releasing with new games and just the detail in the character models. I mean, this video is not showing the justice it should, but man, it's detailed. <laughs> also, I'm sure you guys love plenty of the, uh, the footsteps because, you know, all gaming, you need to have the footsteps followed. <laughs> Where can we get lanyards at? I have one left. 
been looking forever for him. But uh, I know that the Xbox booth over there has been You know, just after this here, you can see our TVA shirts there. Just after this, there was uh, like a dancing game. I think it's like Dance Revolution 2 or something like that's coming out. And uh, there was this girl that Brian fell in love with. <laughs> this girl right here, he's like, whoa, we got to stop and watch this, man. Her pants are too tight. <laughs> so anyways, I was, oh, there it is, Dan. Yeah, I wanted to get up there and do it myself. But again, the lines, look at Brian. <laughs> but again, the lines are just Disneyland, so I only wanted to play like first-person shooter games. I actually, wait in line for it. So Zelda is still running strong. Um, Nintendo has their new console coming out. Which I'm not sure if you guys have seen that. Um, it's kind of competing with the high-def stuff like Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, which is about time because uh, they've always kind of been behind when it comes to that. You know, they had some really cool designs. Like a lot of these companies put in so much work and just to their their booth they had. I mean, I was impressed. Uh, some of the things they designed and they showed actually how they designed it was pretty impressive also. And, and going strong like always, a lot of these uh, MMORPG games where people are dressing up and just going crazy over new World of Warcraft kind of games that are coming out. Um, it was really impressive. I mean, look at this girl for instance. Her costume to go along with these games was just, uh, it was worth it. We had big companies like Newegg out there. I mean, there was a lot of different booths. I was really shocked. Look at that machine. So seeing all these PC things made me really want to think about getting back into the PC thing and actually building a really cool machine. Um, and I've never had a machine that was like this, where it was see-through and a bunch of flashing lights. I've always had strong machines, but, you know, nothing like that. And for the Halo fans, um, they had Halo Fest here, which was like a personal floor. You had to get VIP passes to get to Halo Fest. Um, so, of course, we got those, even though I'm not really a Halo fan. But they showed like a, a life-size replica of the Warthog. Cool things like that. Um, more dancing games. You have the Street Fighter, or the Mortal Kombat characters, and Darth Vader uh, doing Dougie. And like I was saying before, the whole overclocking uh, sense of taking one video card and making it the strength of two. But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I think PAX is also going east coming up in November, December, I think. I'm not sure. Um, and if I can make it out there, I'll definitely throw up some more clips. But uh, definitely get ready for Gears of War 3, Battlefield 3, and Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> Thanks, guys.